Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and another video which is not really a tutorial or anything else, it's more like the opening of a discussion and exploring of things you can do in this game because my goodness there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, so I'm finding myself making more and more of these things as which showing off something you can do in From the Depths and I have no idea if there is any advantage to it whatsoever, so I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Your thoughts meaning, yes, you, the person watching this. So yeah, this is Lamb's Turrets, which is basically the idea is, from what I understand, is instead of putting Lamb's Nodes on the main hull of your craft, you put them on a turret, and uh, that means that uh, they're controlled by a SeaWiz controller, I actually had to make the basic SeaWiz controller before I could make this video, so do go check that out. Uh, and yeah, so on the one hand, it means you don't need to put as many lambs nodes because like, you just really need one pointing forward or one pointing up, and you've got essentially 360 degrees, um, like all the way around, and like the vast majority of the degree is like, what is 360 minus 90? It's like, 360 minus 90 is like 270 degrees, like, forward and up and down, so it covers, it, like, it covers basically everything. So, but on the other hand, it means you are putting all your land nodes uh, on a sub-object, which admittedly is less uh, delicate than uh, the laser components that are sitting on top of it, and, yeah, it's just like, I'm not even sure. This is a, perhaps the most practical kind of lambs node you can have, uh, because um, if you save this particular prefab, and yes, this is not a particularly sturdy example, it's just got like one layer of metal between the cruel outside world and the uh, laser transmitter that is at the heart of the whole thing. Uh, it comes with its own munition warners for no other reason than, you know, what that makes sense. It means if you put the turret down and forget to put munition warners down, it doesn't matter at all. And so yeah, this is probably the most practical because you can save this, and I should have zoomed out more, uh, you can save this, and like whenever you particularly want, you know, lambs nodes, you can just slap it down, and there you go, you're ready to go. Um, but I mean, like you could say the same thing for like prefabbed uh, lambs node clusters and stuff like that. This is not an incredibly good lambs. It uh, fills up uh, reasonably quickly. So yeah, it's like you know, this is this setup. These three little nodes is enough, I believe, uh, to take out the entirety of a hornet's nest swarm because this is a continuous lambs. Uh, because I am a creature of habit, and if I don't need to do a new thing, and then I don't. So. Yeah, so this works just fine, and um, I guess the advantage of this would be that uh, you can spawn that hornet's nest. Uh, let's hold on. Let's do this first. You can spawn this hornet's nest, this hornet's nest, uh, behind, and the turrets turn all the way around uh, to do something about it. It still isn't great because it actually works just fine. What am I even talking about? So I guess that's the advantage of the lamb nodes. Um, it does mean that, like, okay, so. For this video, I think these things are really only kind of useful uh, in the context of broadsiders, which is things that face uh, their long side uh, towards the target, uh, as opposed to, oh dear, oh dear, we're out of juice, we're out of juice, the lambs are out of juice, need to redesign the lambs, uh, what was I saying, oh yeah, so as opposed to something like a front sider or something like that, in which case you really don't need these because aim the lambs nodes pointing forward and you should be all gravy now that's pretty much all you can really say about lambs nodes in a practical sense it's like okay you've got 360 degrees of coverage um with less nodes i guess um and it means like i don't know that's pretty much all i can really think of um but it uh i have been experimenting and here is something um, that was inspired by my habit, uh, I guess it's not really a habit, it's just a thing I like to do, of making self-contained laser turrets, which, uh, if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go watch, I should really post links to these things. Uh, the idea is that uh, you put the laser system on the turret, 
uh, which really just makes it easier to save the sub-object and slap it down whenever you like, and it helps my brain calculate how much space is needed. This is pretty objectively a terrible idea. Um, there's really no advantage to doing it this way, apart from my brain likes doing it for some reason. And this is... I don't know, really, like... I guess there's something to be said of, like, orientating, orientating, uh, orienting your LAM systems, like, vertically like this, and have them entirely self-contained, and, uh, I guess free armor gap, because, uh, in, in an armor turret, at least, because if you do this, this, uh, zero gap right here, uh, might foil a heat shell or two, uh, but not much, because heat fragments will rip straight through one layer of metal, so I don't know. I had fun making this, and that's just about it. And uh, this, uh, as you can probably guess, the lambs uh, that's in here is not incredibly big, so it's like, uh, let's see how big it is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13 technically, so 13 meters tall slash long, uh, 3 meters wide, and uh, th uh, 3 meters long slash tall, so not super big, so the volume over here, so the total volume is 114, which is not much for a decent lamb system. Uh, I don't think this thing can really take on much, and also it charges somewhat too fast for lambs. Uh, but I guess the advantage of sticking it uh, on a sea whiz is that you've always got a lamb's node pointing in the right direction. So I forget what this is capable of uh, shooting at. Let's uh, let's spawn in a hornet's nest and see how we do. Let's freeze right there. Uh, I don't think it's going to do super grand. Nope, it isn't. Nope, nope, it is not. It does not do enough damage, does not do enough damage quick enough. But, uh, thankfully, uh, if you are in the habit of making things like this, it's easy to just prefab or do something like that, and when in doubt, uh, use more. So, there we go. Spawn. Wait a minute, need to wait for this thing to charge. Charging, charging. Okay, that is quite nice, that fast charging. Alright, so let's spawn the Hornet's Nest at an angle. And uh, to show off the fact that, alright, now all Lamb's nodes are pointing to target. Also, handy note, it really helps to kind of stagger out your munition warners like this, because this munition warner spots uh, something incoming. It means a Lamb's node all the way back here um, can also, like, lend support and open fire, so to speak. So, that is doing much better, still not ideal, whoopsie-daisy, it's almost like, um, it's really volume efficient to just jam all of this on, uh, turrets. It did okay, though, remembering that those, uh, small missiles do bugger all damage. Somewhere between bugger and all. And now they're doing just fine. Unless I jinx myself. Yeah, Hornet's Nest, non-stop nonsense. Anyway, so, um, that's that idea, which I must stress, I don't recommend this. I don't think it's a completely stupid idea to do. I mean, it is kind of a stupid thing to do, but, uh, like, I don't know. This whole video is not me telling you what's good. It's like, I don't know. What do you think? And, uh, but last but not least, I guess one of the advantages, I guess, of sticking uh, something like this on a broadsider, and yes, I'm going to be using this turret for the next example, is if you've got a broadsiding craft which, uh, and this is important, is not meant to take on whole swarms of uh, enemies by themselves, is not like a battleship or type thing that's uh, taken on whole mobs by itself, it might be handy um, to have it just have not many nodes, but they're all point in the same direction. So, we're here, and this is a turret arrangement I did. Um, I spawned there below the water. Uh, first off, I should say, I did not make this superstructure. I stole it uh, off a, a workshop craft, which is just superstructure pack number two, I think it's called. Uh, I really should post a link to that. Like, future me, post all the links, please. And, um... Yeah, turret planning. So this is something like what might be good for this kind of uh, lambs. Uh, lambs on a turret, so to speak. So you've got a broadsider, and like 
maybe you don't want to reroute lambs nodes all the way through it or something like that maybe you're like me and you suck at planning ahead so you've got space uh, for a lambs and just like okay well i don't want to go and fiddle around and like i don't know compromise my whole armor with all its lovely poles i love doing this by the way it's um it's one of those things that's not uh 100% effective all the time, but it's just generally a nice habit to have. Uh, but yeah, so if you do this, you mean uh, that an enemy could be on that side, and it's okay. And an enemy could be on that side, and it's okay. And yeah, so that's very nice. And also, in case anyone is wondering, uh, there is a fair amount of deco uh, at work here. Uh, this is not super good uh, super firing turret design because it's got vital components uh, above deck and that's not smart. So this is not the best example, but it is a handy visual key to what I'm talking about. It's like you have uh, spinally mounted uh, lambs turrets uh, that prioritize uh, pointing the lambs nodes in one direction or the other. So you're not stuck with lambs nodes perhaps being inactive. Um, yeah, like, I don't know if that's really an advantage or not, but it could be. And uh, this is decent enough. I don't think a hornet's nest is something that this setup can take. Uh, bearing in mind uh, that um, you'll notice there's a huge amount of space in here. There's nothing stopping you from just making, like, a deck turret exactly like this. And I actually quite like the way this looks, so I might just steal that. Um, and then you just um, actually build a proper lamp system... Uh, down here in the hull, where, you know, they're supposed to be. Um, but, yes, like, I'm tempted to try this. I've, like, built a battleship using uh, kind of uh, self-contained laser turrets, offensive ones that are also seawards, and it's worked okay, not brilliantly. Um, but I can see this working, like, not amazingly well, but it's working okay. You can see it didn't quite manage to deal with that whole volley, which is annoying. Which is why, as I always say, you always want to combine your active defenses with other kinds of active defense, because they always have pros and cons. And just for funsies, I want to see uh, what happens if we spawn a missile chucking thing in two directions. What, what would be... Uh, let's go... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There's a Corsair over there. And another one uh, over there. And let's see how well we deal with that. So we're swinging one way. And that is not going very well. <laughs> so it's like I said, maybe this uh, doesn't work very well for... Uh, well, certainly what you want to do is not stick it on, like, the smallest tire possible, because these things do not turn very quickly. And that was a... not a smart move on my behalf. Although, it just occurred to me, I think... Is this a mechanic? Whoops. Turret settings, limitation of rotation speed... Nope, okay. I was thinking that you could use the engine power to make them turn faster, but I guess not. So, let's, uh... Let's uh, spawn in the hornet's nest again, because why not? And uh, see these lambs not really do the best job, but adequate job. So, point of this video was to show off uh, one concept for uh, lambs turrets, and then another one. And uh, one is almost certainly better than the other. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Like, are there any advantages to these? Are they worth... Uh, the drawbacks, uh, such as they are, uh, let me know. Like, and that's basically it, really. This is the kind of, almost like a thought experiment, except combined with practical footage. So I don't know what this is. Uh, we're sticking lambs on turret blocks, apparently, for fun, because there's no reason uh, to have fun apart from it's fun. So yeah, on that weird note, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see. Uh, more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.